Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I'm going to go over lockpicks as a whole. Um, first I'm going to talk about just kind of my journey into them, uh, what I started with, what I liked, what I noticed as I was uh, uh, making my journey into lockpicking with uh, regards to lockpicks. Then I will talk about the thicknesses of the handles of picks, which is a big subject uh, I'm uh, really fond of. And then uh, I will talk about the different types of materials of handles for lockpicks. Because um, yeah, again, I handles for lockpicks are very important for, to me. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and start. So when I first started lockpicking, I started out with these classic gray Goso picks. And they worked out well. I could take some of the profiles, trim them down, um, reshape them. For instance, this bottom one right here. Uh, I, it's a profile that I cut down and just reshaped. There we go. So I trimmed it up, made it work out. But these worked out really well for quite a while. Um, the metal's not the best, and eventually I needed better ones. Uh, the Secure Pro ones are another ones I started out with. We use these at the lock picking tables quite a bit. Just because they're cheap, uh, they have a decent handle on them, and they're great for learning with, and but they don't last long. Uh, next, I went to Sparrows, um, and what I noticed when I went to Sparrows is I like Sparrows. The, the picks were superior, clearly. However, um, the handles were just plasti-dipped. They, um, they weren't thick like the Goso or the Secure Pro, so that was something that was really weird to me, that I moved up in a quality pick, but I moved down in um, comfort and uh, picking uh, comfortability. So... Yeah, so I stuck with Sparrows for a long time. Then eventually I just moved into uh, Southward, uh, which I like just because uh, between the two profiles there, um, I like them both equally. Equally, it just depends on the profiles I want. Um, <clears throat> after that, uh, Law Lock Tools were very uh, my favorite for a very long time. I love Law Lock Tools. And um, after that, I got um, really into making my own picks. Uh, around that time so I have a whole bunch of my own custom and then I made my own interchangeable handles which I'll talk a lot about later because these are my favorite and um, I'll you'll see why in the end but anyways around that same time I fell in love with Jimmy Long's if you don't know Jimmy Long's you should go to Jimmy Long's and check his shit out because it is amazing and then Moki um, Moki and Jimmy Long's are kind of my uh, go-to everyday picks at the moment Jimmy Long's because you can see that the um, it lasts forever Jimmy Long's are, are hard to bend and break they just last forever I was a tester for one of these and they are built to last you it, it's hard to break these these are worth the investment every damn dollar um, I literally complained to Jimmy about these at DEF CON about how hard they are to bend and break and I finally I think this one is one I'm replacing but you can see um, they have a thicker shaft towards the top in order for them to last so long that was part of the stress testing um, they are not I'd abnormally thick it's just right there and it's perfect so it stays pretty thin into that thickness however sometimes that thickness can be a problem and that's where I keep my Moki just because they're a little bit thinner up the top there and that's the only <clears throat> The only reason I go between the two there. Otherwise, what I prefer are my metal picks. And that's why I've landed in the end. And these are just interchangeable. In general, I like interchangeable handles now, so I don't have to keep buying handles. And uh, I prefer them to be metal because the feedback is superb. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about thickness now. Handle thickness. As I mentioned, when I started picking locks, uh, the Goso thickness and the Secure Pro thickness, they were they were great. They feel great in the hands. They are both a decent thickness. If you want to compare those to like a um, a Southord uh, typical um, pick with the metal scale handles on the side, you can see how thick those are compared to the Southord. They just feel so 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 good and. Um, with that thickness, I, <clears throat> I mentioned kind of like in my journey, going to Sparrows, and even Southward, I noticed the handles got thinner and thinner, and so, um, I started, as I mentioned, doing the interchangeable handles, so I made my own metal interchangeable handles here, which I absolutely love, I, I let everybody use them when they see me, so if you ever see me in uh, person ask to try out my interchangeable handles, I'll absolutely let you do it, because these handles are forever, literally forever, and I just have to buy whatever um, companies pick 
I want to uh, put punch a couple holes in it and slap it in these handles and I'm good to go. This one happens to be a law lock tools. I can use Sparrow, Southward, anything that offers up a pick without a handle. You just punch holes in and slap in here. And this feels amazing. It's great. The thickness is great. And um, let me show you the thickness of all the other picks as well. So up here, the, the Goso, it's about a quarter of an inch thick, which I said, yeah, that felt pretty good. And then the Southord is uh, way less than that. You can see the big difference between the Goso thickness, about a quarter of an inch, to the Southord, which is about um, almost a, a tenth <laughs> of an inch uh, for the thickness there. Law Lock Tools is about the same. They're just metal scales slapped on the side. Sparrow's a tad bit thicker. It's just the plasti dip that's there. Um, oh yeah, and I should explain too what these numbers mean. So I have the standard and then the metric down here. And what that means with blah 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 inch pick, that means, okay, so the law lock tools that is that thickness with that thickness of pick. So if it had a 25 thousandths inch pick in it, it would just be a little bit thicker. The reason being because these particular picks slap just scales on the outside of them. Um, so that might not make sense for all of them. So the sparrows, it would make sense because uh, it'd be a thicker metal and just plasti dip over it. Um, as far as like Peterson and Rytan and Secure Pro Gosso, I'm not sure if a thicker pick means a thicker handle. They might just um, make the hole fit for the thicker pick and keep the same size handle. So keep that in mind. But yeah, the one thing uh, I did like was the uh, the Peterson. I this one thing I never liked Peterson picks. Honestly, their profiles are just not for me. I'm not a fan of the pin. But one thing I noticed is Peterson did have a good thickness handle, and it is a kind of a, a perfect little for me a thinner for a thinner handle, a good thickness, and it feels great. It feels comfortable. Um, later on, the right hand I just found those not too long ago. They feel good. Again, Secure Pro's thick. The multi-pick is just, you know, scales on the outside. Then we have people doing um, 3D printed stuff. So, like, the um, Lockmaster scales down here at the bottom. These right here. These have a good thickness on them, just like the Secure Pro, and just like the Rye Tan, and just like Peterson, around the same thickness there, except for now they're interchangeable. So all you have to do with these blue handles right here is... These specifically will fit the, um, as you can see, the law lock tools here. And if they don't fit a specific uh, manufacturer, just like my metal scales here, you just take a hole punch, punch holes in it, slap this handle on, and you're good to go. And the hole punch is about 35 to $40 these days. Um, I recommend uh, someone tell me, get a cheap hole punch and get good dies for it. So the pieces that do the punching part, buy quality punches. Anyways, the rest of the handles, you can see the um, Moki down here, another good quality thickness, and then as well as the Jimmy Longs. The Jimmy Longs feel great in the hand. You can see that Jimmy's are pretty much the thicker of all of the ones that are offered here. So besides the Goso, Goso is the almost a quarter inch, I'm assuming maybe Secure Pro, Secure Pro. Oh, there's a little bit thinner Jimmy too. So yeah. Um, Jimmy's are probably the uh, second to thickest I've offered here and ones I just really, uh, Jimmy's just feel good. They're a good thickness, um, the good good shape over, overall, they're modeled after Surgeon's Tools. Um, again, yeah, I was one of the beta testers for I remember, for these. I remember seeing a wooden um, version of this that he brought to Lockfest a while ago for people to play with. Um, these handles are just amazing. I can't go on enough about them. And uh, so, yeah, you can see the different thicknesses there. And interesting how the cheaper ones are <laughs> the thicker handles outside of when we start getting to uh, ones like Jimmy Long's and um, and the the Moki. Uh, Jimmy Long's especially. They're just, oof, they're great. Anyway, so it's interesting to see the thickness of all of the... Um, at different types of handles and picks that are offered out there. Um, let me show you my favorite thickness, and it is the it is a perfect quarter inch. And what I did is I took uh, 
metal scales, metal bars like this, and I just rounded off the edges, polished them off, drilled holes in them, and made them into interchangeable scales. This is aluminum. And these things, the feedback on it is absolutely amazing. It is a perfect thickness. Um, the thinner is okay. I can uh, show you, um, I do have a thinner one as well. So I have a slightly thinner brass one that I have. And this, this thinner brass feels pretty good too. It's a good thickness. And um, we'll get, start getting to the subject now. We'll start talking about materials. So I personally love the quarter of an inch. Some people might just like the little bit uh, smaller than that. I forget what this is. Um, these scales I think are one eighth scales on each side. But uh, these both feel really good. The aluminum has great feedback with this with this thickness. Any thicker, and the feedback starts going away, which is um, uh, very interesting. Um, so the metal is great feedback, and depending on the density of the metal and the thickness of the metal is how much feedback you'll receive. So I found aluminum, um, a quarter uh, quarter inch thick uh, handle completely. Um, is superb. It's perfect. It has the ideal feedback. <clears throat> the um, Here, I'll just move these out of the way now. Uh, I will just talk about the metal feedback first, and then I'll move on to the, uh, the feedback of other materials. So, it's talking about... Oop, there it goes. Our brass pick. So, it's talking about metal. So, I have a whole bunch of different types here. Um, I have a bronze aluminum type. These are all aluminum right here. These are brass, and then some original um, ones way over there. So, I mentioned the aluminum, it feels amazing. Um, it is ideal, the quarter inch aluminum is perfect. The um, brass also feels amazing. I forget the thickness of it, I don't have a, um, a thing here. Let's see, it's about um, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Um, this feels amazing. Um, it's thinner than the aluminum ones I have, but it needs to be a little bit thinner, and the reason being is because this is a, uh, a denser and heavier metal, so it absorbs the feedback just a little bit more. So this is about the thickness I like for a heavy, dense metal, so this brass feels really good as well. Um, the bronze aluminum here, uh, this is about a, a quarter inch as well. I tried to make it as close to a quarter inch. This feels really great. This is a great thickness for me, and it has an, an extra heavy feel to it. It's just like the brass. It is a heavy metal. However, this is a thicker, uh, thicker handle now, so it's even heavier. So my opinion is these handles are freaking gorgeous. They do not tarnish this bronze aluminum. Um, Christina Palmer suggested it. These are amazing. These do not tarnish. It feels great. However, the thickness I made it, a quarter inch total thickness, is just a little bit too much because it does absorb a little feedback. And it does have just a little bit too much weight. Just a little bit. But again, that brass right here, the 3 sixteenths of an inch, feels great. Here, I'll stick that one right there. So we have 3 sixteenths of an inch, and then our quarter inch over here. And then also, over here to the side, in my pick stand, I have plenty of actual 304 stainless steel as well. And these are a quarter inch, and just like the bronze aluminum, um, for the uh, thickness, it feels great. But for the thickness of this type of material, it is actually just a little too thick, because it is just a little too heavy. and then, it doesn't, it does absorb a little feedback. It just blunts the feedback ever so slightly. So what I like this lock on are um, basic locks that have wide open keyways and um, are okay to do that with. I've used them on ASA just just fine. Um, yeah, just, just be aware, it can blunt just a little bit, but it's not too bad. But I would say it is just a tad bit over to where it's a tad too thick for the weight and that is, um, with the heavy metals. So yeah, the bronze aluminum, the stainless steel, and the brass. Those should, I would recommend, being about the 3 sixteenths instead of the quarter inch. Otherwise, yeah, the, the brass here is one that was machined for me by Max in Seattle. 
A uh, few of you may have met him at DEF CON or locally Seattle. He's always out. He machined this one for me, so it is perfectly aligned. If you've been paying attention, my holes are not. I've made these all, all these metal picks back here, all made by hand. Um, this was machined by Max, and it, it's amazing. It feels great. You can see that he was learning this one of his first ones. He, the edges is a little bit rough, so I, if I wanted to shape this up and make it perfect, I barely have to do anything to it. But even that machine finish looks really cool. And this is my perfect quarter inch aluminum handle right here. And you can see I used the shit out of it because I wanted to test it out. And I love this thing. I love them. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I absolutely, um, oh, and so yeah, I, here before I move on, a thin aluminum feels all right too. And, and it's just super perp feedback. So, um, the thick, thickest you can go, I would say, is a quarter inch with aluminum. Otherwise, I'd say three sixteenths of an inch and below with your metals. So anyways, let's move back to the other types of um, handle materials. Actually, while we're on the subject of metal, we'll talk about uh, dimple real quick. So, same thing over here, multi pick that's aluminum. Uh, good feedback. The thickness is not something uh, I enjoy, and a lot of people never really liked about multi picks uh, sets. So, that's why I created these. And this is a great thickness, and the brass just feels amazing in the hand. It is a, a perfect weight for for picking. This feels great. And then, so, you have a, a wider, this is a um, Honest Dong Shi, a, uh, a thicker, a wider aluminum. This one I believe might be hollow, or maybe not, but this aluminum actually does not feel bad. I'm trying to compare it to my other one. This has to be hollow to some extent. This one has great feedback. It feels really good. These are great handles. I, I really love them. From the Honest Dongs, these are the best thing they did was the handle. But again, when we get to thicker metals, the feedback starts to get a little blunted. I enjoy picking with the, um, the thicker aluminum. It feels really good. It feels great in the hand. Um, yeah, it feels good. The feedback is just a tad bit blunted, but not a whole lot. It, this one feels pretty good. I enjoy the thicker aluminum. I prefer the the brass size, maybe just a little bit thicker than the brass, and that way you can see them side by side right there. But when we get to this brass one, this thicker brass one that I made, this one's feedback is definitely I can feel it. It's blunted, and it feels blunted in the same way that the um, the thicker steel handles were. Uh, these inner thicker steel interchangeables that are quarter inch. It's definitely blunt a little bit, so that is something to be worried about. Metal handles are ideal. They are amazing. They're the best feeling in the world. However, when you start to get too thick, some feedback will get blunted, so the aluminum blunts it, and then the brass blunts it even more when it's that thick. If we're talking about normal style um, handles now, so if we go to uh, plastic stuff, uh, we'll go to so like normal plastic handles like also plastic definitely absorbs a little bit it's not a solid metal um still feels pretty good so it still feels pretty good same with like um the uh these uh, peterson they it feels pretty good the plastic handles are not bad uh again metals ideal plastics not bad um other materials so just standard wood this is just a branch i found that i made into a handle one of my first times making stuff standard wood feels really good and the density of wood definitely matters so a really um hard wood definitely will um have more feedback to it so i think this burl right here on this handle is actually pretty decently hard i believe or a stabilized one have a, a really good feedback a normal wood um will get rid of the feedback just a little bit little bit and you'll notice that going back and forth between a a um a metal handle and a wood handle you'll definitely notice the difference so the density of wood matters the harder the wood the more feedback you'll receive other materials so we mentioned plastic so yeah 3d printed you can 3d print as as wide as you want and um i have a whole bunch of handles up online you can search it by my name um a whole bunch of files anyway so 3d printed handles plastic so again absorb some feedback but you can make them as wide as you want as thin as you want and make them if the files available fit whatever tool you want and this one is a law lock tools one we have other materials such as um bone and horn so you see right here i have a 
a bone, this is a deer bone with, um, I believe, uh, a buffalo horn. I made it into uh, basically a, a deer hoof pick. So it, it's a little lower deer leg with a hoof on the end, that's the pick. Um, bone is not so dense, so uh, kind of like a not so dense wood, absorbs some feedback. Uh, same with uh, horn, and uh, so we have tusk and horn, so uh, buffalo horn, mammoth tusk, both not so dense. If you stabilize them and such, they'll be a little bit more dense, but they do absorb some feedback, so they're not very dense. Um, other type materials, so you've seen like zip ties and uh, popsicle sticks online, uh, zip ties, plastic, popsicle sticks, you know, metal. If you do the old, uh, if you're going, you know, the cheapest route possible just to have a handle, if you do the floor tile, it's, you know, whatever floor tile um, texture you, you do, it's pretty much vinyl, and then you also have the uh, rubberiness of the, um, the tackiness between it, so that definitely, this absorbs quite a bit. And, um, oh, and then a basically uh, composite picks. So if you're thinking of like uh, acrylic picks, acrylic is pretty good plastic. It has pretty good feedback. Um, I do enjoy my acrylic picks quite a bit. They look pretty and they do supply decent feedback. I would say better than wood because they're, they are definitely pretty solid. They're a solid, solid plastic. They're not rubbery or anything like that. Um, composite picks, so wood mixed with uh, acrylic. Uh, pretty good feedback. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've missed any type of uh, picks here. So yeah, um, my my takeaway is uh, in my experience. As you, you know, you've seen my experience. My takeaway, my experience is I like I love metal picks. Those are my favorite. Acrylic or runners up would feel really good. Um, well, I say would feel good. Honestly, when it comes down to it, uh, some of the plastic handled picks feel just as good as wood, if not better. Um, the metal picks are the best. Just keep in mind when you're uh, making a pick, the density of the product you're work working with, whether it's wood, acrylic, metal, um, plastics, uh, Keep in mind the density of what you're working with because it'll definitely make a difference with what you're feeling. And when you're thinking about the density, the uh, the denser it is, the especially well with metal, the thinner you will want it for the feedback. Uh, a denser wood, you don't exactly need it to be so thin. <clears throat> As thin of a handle, a denser wood, you can go a little bit wider because you, you'll feel that feedback a little bit more. But um. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty much my takeaway on picks throughout the the years and where I've landed. Um, I again, I I mainly pick with my metal interchangeable handles or my Jimmy Longs, and occasionally switch to Moki from time to time. Uh, yeah, um, I hope this helped give you an idea of kind of um, what to expect when uh, making new handles or if you're trying out new handles or thinking about buying um, a handle from someone because if you're it could be a big difference kind of like if you're doing a, a finish for uh, when you're making picks it can be all the difference from a, a finish a working finish to a, um, a display finish and if you want a working pick as opposed to a displaced pick then it doesn't really matter what it's made out of right but if you want a working pick and you want something with great feedback I hope this gave you uh, enough information of consideration of uh, what you want to try out. All right, everyone, uh, if you have any comments or questions below, uh, yeah, drop them below. Let me know what you think, and uh, let me know what you're picking with. What's your what's your favorite thing at the moment? Because, um, yeah, I, I can't rave enough about these metal interchangeable uh, handles, and I have more coming to me at the moment, and I'm, I'm, I'm super ecstatic. I, I just can't put them down again. Uh, let me know what you think. If you ever see me in person, please ask me about my metal handles and give them a try. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.